Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Dave Rips. Today, I have a pretty big BGS order return. Um, I sent these cards off back in June with 502 Frank Submission Group and just got them back last weekend, so nearly an 11 month turnaround time. Uh, as you saw in the uh, thumbnail and in the title, they did damage, I think, at least two of my cards, but um, one for sure, and I think a second. So I'll get into that. Um, this one, nine auto. This was a Spectra out of 35 RPA, but did get the nine five. So uh, not a bad one there. Uh, also, a theme on this order that I'll get to. Um, let's see, I think this might be one of them. Go. It is a uh, 0.5 away from Jim. I had a ridiculous amount of cards that were 0.5 away from Jim, so we'll uh, keep count of that. Check in at the end. So, oh, uh, another Drew Lock. You can see what I was really high on uh, back back over the summer, but uh, I was picking up Drew Lock. Uh, I got these, the silver and the pink, for like 60 combined, but I was buying his Prism rookies for like five dollars a piece uh, last Christmas. So. Uh, another one that was 0.5 from Jim, so bummer there. Uh, Stephen Curry, Net Marvels, these are a very tough grade, and it was 0.5 from Jim. So, uh, you see that one, that was one that I was pretty bummed out. Would have really loved a, a Jim Mint on that, so we'll probably move on from that because it didn't Jim. Um, AD. You can't tell, I was really hype on these blue velocity uh, that it, that they get the true gem. Uh, if you ever hear someone say true gem, that just means it doesn't have any uh, subgrades below a nine. That would be considered like not a true gem because it has the nine corners. All right, uh, Drew Lock, this is, I believe an auto, yep, okay. Another one, 0.5 from Jim. Uh, so. So uh, when I sent these off to Frank, uh, 502 Frank, I know a lot of people watch his YouTube channel, uh, he was doing evaluations for the cost of the card, so I of course had him evaluate mine, because why not? Um, here we go, this is another one, 8.5 on the corners. So this is the first one that I think could have been damaged by BGS. Um, I looked over this, and Frank also looked over it, and if you look at this corner, That's pretty significant ding. Um, I'll throw up on the screen. Like, he even sent me a picture of cards that uh, he didn't think I should grade. I find it hard to believe we both missed that. I just, it, it could definitely happen, but I, I find it pretty hard to believe. So, I uh, got a nine on that one. Sam Darnold, Optic Downtown. Boom, nine five. All right, see the Tom Brady is the 2016 optic. Got the 9.5, not a true gem. It's a mint gem, is what people will call them. Right. This is a Tom Brady, I believe this is the silver. Got a 9.5 from gem. Uh, the reason the centering on this is off, it is top to bottom, I believe. Um, if you look, okay, no, that's my red one. Uh, top to bottom and it's a little off left and right so but uh, I think he's he's a little far down as well New England Patriots is too close down so not a not an unfair grade uh, this one uh, card numbered out of 25 and it was 0.5 from Jim so bummer there uh, Kobe White this was the net marbles to get the knife so right uh, Kobe White here uh, this is the orange ice there we go so we've got the mint gin so, sweet card there AD mosaic another 0.5 from Jim uh, and I believe, is 
that actually yeah that is something that's on the surface that was another thing that happened with this order there's all kinds of like stuff inside the cases there's um like I, just all kinds of stuff that's just so frustrating um i think this will no doubt be my last last sub with bgs ever or at least for a long time um so pardon net marvels did pull a nine five hype about that it was a good one and here we'll get to the other damaged card this one was the one that uh there is no doubt in my mind that this was damaged by bgs so if you look got a 9.5 centering 10 on the corners 8.5 edges and 7.5 surface you can see it it's right there there's like someone put their fingernail through that card um there's just no way Frank and I both missed that one. Then the edges actually, well, there you go, kind of caught it. Sorry about the glare, but uh, there you go. You can kind of see it right there for a second. Um, looks like they did something else down there, right there. Let's see. So, yeah, pretty pretty uh, frustrated um, to, to see that, especially on a car that, you know, did have, 10 corners, 9-5 centering. Um, hard to believe this wouldn't have at least been a, a strong gym mint. So, uh, not not the end of the world, because I didn't pay a lot for this, but uh, just one reason that this is going to be uh, the last time I sub with BGS for a long time. So, uh, moving on, because I know nobody wants to listen to me whine. Uh, the hair there, uh, I got the AD center stage. 9.5 all around true gym mate super high on ad back then uh, thought wanted to get these back by the playoffs because this was in june the playoffs were starting back up in august figured it'd be great timing um, <laughs> and it got time back in time just for this year's playoffs so i uh, got the 9.5 on all around on the overdrive uh, gonna save these two these are two of the biggest cards in the order right? so it kind of gives it away that's got the gold label up there but uh this one uh, another one ad i believe this is the yeah red ice got the uh nine five let's see this is one that uh yeah so okay so that in the case that like some hairs in the case uh, and there's that kind of crap all over this order it's just like throughout the entire thing if you actually like really look at the cases they're just loaded with that kind of stuff and that just uh, to me it's pretty unacceptable uh, when you're supposed to be preserving the cards by sending them to these companies so uh lamar jackson optic downtown see by the silver label womp womp that's still a sick card i was i paid like 60 bucks for these at the start of the 2019 season when he started popping off i just wish i had bought uh, more than one um because man that was a great buy so uh this one uh really disappointed this one didn't pull the nine five it did get the nine um eight five on centering another one top to bottom and you can even see where the embossing is off on his helmet so not an unfair grade but these are the hanger exclu or excuse me gravity feed exclusive uh red super short prints um this is a card i am going to hold on to just because i don't think the value of this uh is nearly would would i don't think it would uh, get nearly what it's worth if it were if i were to put it up to auction so uh, that's one that I'm going to hold in the PC. Pretty sweet card. So. And it was pack pulled, which is always, always cool. All right. Boom. AD Blue Prism. Look at it. 1.5 away from pristine. Uh, so this one was uh, one of the cards I was most hype about. And you can see uh, that one. Yeah. That little guy, the white one right there. That is in the case, the other one just in the sleeve. But then also right there, there's a hair in there. Um, 
just just that kind of stuff i mean absolutely ridiculous that you're sending a company uh these cards off to this company and this is a nearly pristine copy and it has stuff inside the case like just just totally unacceptable and i know that's not on frank that's entirely on bgs i just i'm just incredibly disappointed uh this was another pack pulled kobe card uh kobe orange ice jersey game worn uh corners did keep it from getting the the gym mint centering off a little bit too but uh really really sick card so um one i'll i'll hold on to so got the mahomes ooh, squeak got the mahomes green prism did pull the nine five so probably sell that it's a pretty nice one All right, now probably the three biggest cards of the order. My three favorite, I think the Optic Lamar might be bigger than this one. Um, AD, Mosaic, bang, True Gem. That is a, uh, that's a pretty cool card. Um, AD, being a UK guy, one of my big, one of my big uh, guys I collect and in the Lakers jersey. Uh, something that uh, really really cool addition to the PC uh, this one another pack pulled card uh, this is from a gravity feed at Target uh, it is a Ja Morant rookie auto and it did pull the 9.5 uh, 10 auto so uh, pretty, pretty monster card uh, for me anyway uh, so uh, really awesome to add that one to the PC uh, centering's great, uh, you know, just got a little bit on the corners. I don't know if they, I'm, I'm assuming that was like that. I, I wish I had done a better job of like documenting everything because I, I don't really remember, but really just glad that one did get the 9.5 uh, because it is you know, pack pulled and, and the jaw rookie auto. And then the other one I was probably most happy with the grade it got, my Luca Net Marvels, did get the 9.5. Just barely, uh, 10 on the surface, 9 on the corners. So, uh, really, really cool second year card and, and one that, um, you know, if Luca is who everyone or the majority of people think he is, long term, I think could uh, be very, very sought after. So, all right, well, uh, that does it. Um, yeah, just overall, you know, the, the damaged card here and then um the drew lock that i'm kind of suspicious about as well as all the the stuff just the freebies included in the cases i'm not going to be sending any more cards to bgs not to mention the 11 month turnaround time so um thanks for watching guys like comment let me know if you've gotten orders back from bgs if you're seeing any of these same issues um appreciate everybody watching the video be back soon peace